Cool. Awesome. <laughs> so I've been thinking lately about symbols, specifically about spoons. So uh, <laughs> somebody already beat me to there is no spoon. I'm in a room full of geeks. It's awesome. I love it. It's fabulous. So, uh, you know, a spoon at its most basic, right? It's a tool. It's uh, a shallow bowl with a handle attached, and it's for moving food, right, from wherever it is to your mouth. It's, it's to bring sustenance to you. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of sayings around spoons and a lot of other things that it stands for, right? Like, uh, this spoon happens to be made out of silver. And if you were to say that someone was born with a silver spoon in their mouth, it means that they came from money, right? They had resources. There's also, um, you know, there's some darker meanings to spoons. Um, I have some friends who... Uh, you know, have chronic pain, and, and there's this theory that they talk about, the spoon theory, right? At the end of the day, you know, you only have so many spoons to give. You start out the day with a handful of spoons, and you, you spend those spoons on each activity that you have to do, and, you know, at the end of the day, if one of my friends is exhausted, I might hear them say, I'm all out of spoons, right? Or, uh, you know, some people take spoons and they put an extremely harmful substance in it and cook it, right? And, uh, and it's one of the darker meanings. But then uh, if you were to get into recovery from a substance like that, then you might hear one of these little cliche sayings, spoons are for stirring coffee, right? And that means that uh, you've taken some of those bad habits and you've made them good habits, right? Traded them in. You know, the other, uh, the other thing that spoons can be is actually a musical instrument, right? You can actually, yeah. uh, you can play the spoons, right? Spoons can bring you joy. <laughs> and then there's my favorite, spooning. <laughs> right, because when you, when you lay two spoons together and they're faced the same direction, it's kind of like if you had two lovers who were laying in bed together, face the same direction, and holding one another. That's what they call spooning, right? And I see these little, uh, these little bumper stickers that say like, will you be my little spoon? And I like that, that's cute, right? That's cute, be my little spoon. But uh, at the same time, it doesn't quite work for me because one of the things I love about spooning, right, is that you're equal. Right? The two spoons are the exact same size and they fit together perfectly, right? And uh, it doesn't matter which way they lay, they're still going to fit together. It doesn't matter which one is, is behind or in front, they're still going to fit together. It's spooning, right? And uh, spooning with Courtney Nelson is one of the absolute best things in my life. So I, I think about spooning and, uh, and what that means and all these different symbols that a spoon can be. You know, it can be um, a symbol for sustenance and resources and changing good habits to bad ones. And it can be joy. It can be all of these things. And it makes me think about this other symbol that people like to use to mean love and, uh, and commitment and, uh, you know, just gets me thinking about what else a spoon can be, right? Like if you, uh, if you took a spoon and you got it into just the right shape, Right? Then uh, eventually it could be something else. Thank you, hecklers, for allowing me a minute.
Now, not all of the spoon can be this particular shape. Some of it might have to be removed. But that doesn't really change what it is, right? Things grow and things change. Love does that. So if you work this uh, metal just right, then you could get to this other shape, a ring. And what I was thinking is, if I could turn a spoon into a ring, Courtney, will you marry me? I'm wearing my f***ing pajamas. <laughs> is, it, is it horribly tight?